Holy crap. 50 freaking episodes. Uh, I'm so sorry this took so long, but welcome back to episode 50 of my Minecraft freaking let's play. As always, I'm me and you're you, so let's do this. Um, today, as many of you know, this is a one hour special. Been a long time coming. Is that Nickelback? I don't know. But um, I hope it's not Nickelback. Fuck Nickelback. But anyway, um, today I've got something planned. Um, it's going to be for you guys. And as the more aware people, the more people who pay attention, the ones who pay more attention than the rest of you, um, every 10 episodes I do a one hour special. And with that, I put my map up for download. And constantly I get messages saying, like, where's the coordinates to get to my house and all that. Um, if you want to be like, I don't know, bear griddles and like wander around, there they are, but um, what I'm actually going to do say is build another minecart nether transportation system to get you from spawn to here, so I will have no use for this thing whatsoever, it's just for those who want <clears throat> want to download my map and get here without having to fly over or whatever, um, this should be a lot quicker, definitely a lot quicker than the alternative, and I thought I'd better do that because I just keep getting the same question over and over, and... Yeah, that's one thing I wanted to get done today, but since we've got an hour, um, I might get that done in the second half, um, kind of break this episode up into two as much as I can. Um, what am I building a boat for? Um, since last episode, I've hit 500 subscribers. Um, the last time I recorded, I was actually at, um, I think it was about 460, and I was in a bit of a rut, and I was kind of demotivated on making videos and all that, just temporarily, but... God, why is this music always so fitting, anyway? Um, a friendly old fellow, Brenny Beast, liked one of my videos, and somehow, like, 60 people found my channel from that. So if, if Brenny sent you, let me know. And, um, Brenny, if you're watching this, fucking high-five and shit. Um, but apart from that, I guess I better stop fanboying. But, yeah, thanks for 500 subs, guys. Um, it, it happened very quickly, and hopefully... Here's to another 500, so, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do for a 1,000 milestone video. Uh, the one I did post took me a shot ton of time to make, and, um, the only reason I did make that in that same style is just because I found a, a bunch of tracks that were fitting, um, I don't know, for some reason my inspiration for making videos, apart from the actual milestone itself, is the music and such, um, that I have, and... Elegancy hooked me up with some some music, so I'm grateful for that. And I don't know that that the wavy sound effects at the start, I don't know, inspired it all. But I better stop crapping on. Um, since last episode, I've worked on the dock a little bit, but it has been like maybe a week since I posted. So I don't know, just mixed emotions about recording as of late. So I do apologise, but here it is nonetheless. Um, do some late 720. Bow scopes. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that pisses me off. There's like... F out of all the places... There's like... A 99% chance that I don't hit lily pads. And that 1% chance... For fuck... Oh my... Let's put on some next level dubstep. Fuck yeah. Alright, okay, okay, that's... That's a shit start to the video, I must admit, but, um, fuck squid, wankers, um, my computer's been really bad as of late, so what I've done is reduce the resolution on the actual monitor, so the graphics card doesn't have a chuck of skits or whatever, um, I don't even know what score I had just then, I'd, mm. but anyway, so the video quality may or may not be better, I'm not, I'm, my monitor is in 720p, and that's what I render at, so I don't have to do any stretching and downsizing and stuff. So hopefully it's a little more clear, I'm not sure. Um, I definitely know I'm recording at a much smoother frame rate, which is fantastic. But I don't know if it's making the video quality any better or any worse. So I guess we'll just have to find out. So please let me know if it does look a little bit better or and or worse. Um, preferably better. Um, I'd be a bit depressed if it wasn't. But now I have to go through the fucking OCD and reassemble my inventory. To how it was before, that sucks a lot of poo. But anyway, we better stop piss farting around. I was meant to show you. Oh, fuck! I... <laughs> Alright, I'm just so pro at Minecraft. <clears throat> just excuse the awesomeness. 
It's like Skrillex all over again, that thing. But anyway, this is the dock. I did a bit of Renos on it, not too much. Um, one idea I had for this bad boy was to kind of cover it in a leaf canopy, if that makes any sense. Like a roof that goes over the top in leaves. I don't know, it'd look like an army hut or something. And you just pull out... Just pull, Right, okay, that's a little bit... Um, yeah. Not needed, um, but anyway. Yeah, that's what I did. I added some glowstone in. Had to go to the nether. I really don't have much of this stuff. And that took so long for some reason. Just to gather those glowstone. And do what has been done so far. But, since we're make, making our nether transport system... Um, we're going to have to make a lot of tracks, but I thought instead of being boring and gay and stupid, um, I'd actually go down into a mine shaft and do it manually. Go on some adventures. Um, I don't have a level in 50 enchantment at the start of this episode. I'm not sure. I get, it's episode 50. Of course I have to do an enchantment. I guess I'll get it done at some stage during the episode at some point. Um, whenever I'd like to break it up a little bit. But we're going to go places you've never been before. Um, in my world, providing you haven't downloaded it and explored it for yourself. But, um, this is how I find my underwater, underwater ravines and such. Good mine shafts, um, when I'm not looking for diamonds. When I look for diamonds, I kind of do the same generic shaft mining shit. And that's boring as all hell. But when I'm looking in caves and such, I, it's, it's quite enjoyable, I dare say. I have a bit of fun doing it, uh, but... We're going to go somewhere in my world where I've never really hung around. And I think I need a puppy. Although I don't have any freaking bones. And me and dogs and cats just don't mix. Um, I've been analysing over and over why my last dog cracked the shits and killed himself. Um, and I imagine when I went into the nether portal, he must have found the fireworks uh, that surround it. And um, yeah, when I got back, he kind of... Cracked the shits and was on fire, resumed burning. But for anyone who hasn't seen, this is my icy fortress project that is discontinued. For now at least, just because um, Silk touching 1.3, I'll be able to pick up ice, which is kind of crap. I wanted to ice mold this whole thing, but anyway. Um, I guess I could finish it. Um, the, the, the new way, I suppose. Oh, Dad Optifine. But anyway, we're going to adventure over here. I don't want to load too many chunks. Um, because when when ep when episode when update 1.3 comes, um, it's going to be a lot. What am I? What, what am I even talking about? Um, a lot of new things are going to be introduced. That's what I'm getting at. Um, such as the pre-generated the structures in the jungle and the desert. Um, the reason why I don't want to load chunks is because. <laughs> Just, uh, scumbag Dexter, I'm doing I'm doing video, son. Um, what's it called? The one in the jungle. I apologize if you can't see. But the one in the jungle has a crap ton of mossy cobblestone on it. And that's a finite resource in this game. So what I, I don't want to do is generate more world chunks than I have to. So when 1.3 does drop... What the... F I don't have no arrows. Okay. Um, anyway, but when that um, update does drop... Um, I'll be able to harvest that mossy cobblestone from those structures, and it won't be so hard to find, um, which is kind of crap. I kind of liked the fact that mossy cobblestone, not the stronghold stuff, but the actual old school cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, yeah, I got that right the first time, don't know why I cracked myself, but whatever. Um, I liked how that was rare, and I was actually going to do some building with it, but I'm not sure if I want to do that now. Um, it's kind of lost its its goodness about it. And just like that in cocoa beans, cocoa beans, of course, will be farmed in the next patch. So I, they have no real benefit. Let's see if this ender pearl would benefit me at all. And let's see if this is a nice deep crevice for me to stick myself into. Um, Goddamn. And if I sound like I'm like quivering at the sh like when I talk, it's because I'm goddamn cold. It's always so cold in my house, and it's yeah kind of depressing but anyway we're going to try and find a, an abandoned mine shaft and if we can't like this we're going to listen to zombies and hopefully they can take us to wondrous lands of 
God damn, that's gay. I'm just going to stop right there. Um, but the goal is to find an abandoned mine shaft. Got me water buckets. And I will be, what's it called? Harvesting railroads, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, that zombie sounds like he's over here a bit more. Surround sound in the headset for the win. Um, I'll be a, bit, be, a bit, be a bit embarrassed if I don't actually see this zombie. But uh, I do love this headset. This Logitech G35. Fucking sponsor me or something. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I might just go deeper, that zombie, he's a bit indecisive, and he's leading me off in a multiple directions, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I just have to go down, oh, even though he's so far up, and abandoned mine shafts, I really should be able to find one at this level, so I guess that zombie, I, I got a bit confused just now, I thought I was higher than I actually was. But I guess that zombie is worthwhile chasing because you can hear a zombie. That means there's going to be some sort of cave and or little area there. So a little pocket of goodness that... There we go. That's what we want. But I'm not quite sure if that's the one I was after. Um, yeah, I guess that'll do. Oh, I don't normally take you guys caving and it's kind of disappointing. When I played Minecraft Alpha, I had a lot of fun with that series because I could... Like, it wasn't about how many hundreds of hours I put into building it. It was just simply enjoying the game and doing all that good stuff. Um, why am I not using my fortune pick? So stupid. Although that didn't really look too good. Um, I can hear lava blast. And I know it's a bit annoying because I can hear volume much louder than you guys can. And I'll just try and turn my... Oh, no! Wrong one. Derp phase. Um, which one? Yeah, it's just extremely loud on my end. It's just because my super sexy man voice just overpowers all the minor sound effects in the game that whenever I render the video, um, and I'm not using DX Tori, so I can't boost the volume. Yeah, you just don't get to hear a lot of the game sounds, which is a bit unfortunate. It's just extremely deafening for me if I record like this. But I'll do my best um, to keep the game sounds up for you guys so you can hear those zombies and all that good stuff. But, um trying to find a decent area to find a mine shaft in and the reason why I'm not going into a pre-existing one is just because I don't want to kind of set up the episode like I've got a goal for the episode but I don't want to kind of script I don't know if that's the way, right way to put it but um, I don't want to pre-find stuff off camera then go through it I don't know maybe that's just me maybe I'm just retarded but, I don't know. Well, to be fair, I am the guy recording his own voice. For no real reason apart from entertaining himself. Which is weird as shit. But apparently a few, guys, a few of you guys like these videos. So, I'll keep doing it. As weird as it, weird as it is. But, um... Yeah, I'm not quite sure how long I'll be able to do these episodes. Um, I don't imagine these finishing anytime soon. It's just... Recently, things have been... I don't know, a little unmotivated as of late. And uh, it's not because out of laziness or anything. I just purely, I don't know, I like to see growth. And when, like, I know my channel's, like, growing at a massive rate. And I've had people help me with that. Um, for some reason, I don't know. I, I just get stuck in ruts. Um, before Brenny helped me out, I was really not motivated at all. Why am I digging down? And it's pretty much the only reason why I'm recording now is because he gave me that massive boost. And I feel a bit guilty if I don't record for a couple of days. And it's kind of a bad place to be in. But I thought it was um, required of me to repay the favor, give him... I don't know. Not repay the favor. What the hell? What am I saying? Getting all stupid on you. But, um... God, I'm going to be full on depressed. What the fuck? All right. All right, that zombie's right there. I don't know, I think I'll just kill that train of thought for the moment, because I really don't know what I'm fucking saying. Um, hopefully, if this cave is not linked to a mine shaft in any way, shape, or form, going to be a bit sad panda, but that was weird. Um, of course. Although I can hear water, which is a good sign that there may be a ravine nearby. Minecraft Knowledge 101. Holy shit, how much sand? sand. There we go. That's a cave spider spawner. Get rid of that shit with the water. The cobwebs, that is, not the actual spawner. But, um, I don't have any interest in this shit. 
um, cave spiders that is. So what I'm going to do is just light it up and never come back to this place ever again, most likely. Um, can we do this? Can we cheat? Yes, we can. And I might actually get all this, these goodies. What is this? Fuck that pickaxe. I'm not going to use that while I'm recording. God damn. Got to use the good stuff while I'm recording. Um, and all the boring stuff I do off camera. So, I spoil you guys, I really do. <laughs> In the sake of entertainment, I sacrifice my sanity. How bad is that? I'm like, oh well. Inventory slots need to be bigger. Just like in Minecraft Alpha when you could put your shit up here and it doesn't pop back out. I love that. I don't know. That series is really fun. Um, if any of you guys... Oh, fuck you, Mr. F fuckhole. Um, hmm. Yeah, if any of you guys haven't checked out my Minecraft Alpha series, um, please do watch it. Um, because I'm just going to talk about it right now. And if you don't want any spoils, I suggest you click off this video momentarily. Watch the seven episodes that are up so far and then resume watching this video. But anyway, I'm going to presume you've seen this. Pre presume you've seen that series and or don't give a shit about it. And um, it only lasted seven episodes total. I was retarded and died. Um, I was really disappointed. I was really enjoying that series as well. Just the basic survivalness of Minecraft and the raw gameplay element was really appealing. Um, I made recording that series. Rel like, really, really easy and fun. <laughs> there we go, that's what we want. I totally forgot momentarily why the hell I was down here for the second there. That's a big chunk of iron. Um, but we better start getting our Minecraft... Minecraft track? Minecart tracks, that's the one. Um, but I really should have emptied my inventory a little bit better than I did before I came here. Um, but how we're going to do this... I've never really done this before, to be honest. I normally just harvest a crap ton of iron and then go to town on my supplies but um what I'm going to do for today to get my minecraft mine, like minecart tracks for god's sake is just do this procure the easy way to getting tracks not quite sure how effective it's going to be overall but I guess we can do it for a little while and if it's a bit too slow I guess I can just make them all off camera and we can get stuck into this project for you guys um when I say it, it's not going to be, I'm not going to use it. Um, the only time I will use it is when my bed, for some unknown reason, becomes obstructed or I just, I don't know, a creeper blows it up or whatever. So I guess it will have some purpose for me. Um, the main reason I'm going to build this thing is, though, is just to get you guys um, from spawn to my building area. And if it didn't take me so long to find a freaking jungle, what the fuck? Is that normal? Is that like... Right, I'm going to leave that... Fuck you. Gravity. I don't know if that's normal, but... I'm going to assume it isn't, and... Oh! I was just going to say, I was going to leave it there, just... Because it was rare or something, but anyway. That was a bit crappy. Um, but I guess... If we run out of tracks here... What the hell? I'm so bad with keeping consistent conversation with myself. I know. Sounds like such an easy thing to do, but no, it's hard as shit. And I suggest if any of you guys uh, want to get into commentary, practice makes perfect. The only That's the best advice I can give you. And, well, in my case, practice makes slightly better, but never perfect. So, I don't know, perfect, perfection, perfection. I'm just pronouncing the syllables like a dumbass. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's even possible in this game, but fuck it. 50 episodes in, hopefully I'm a little bit better than when I started, and considering I'm doing one hour episodes, that's that's a crap ton of talking, I and mean, I can barely hold conversations with random people for that long, so, I don't know, it's a very strange thing, I cannot stress that enough, <clears throat> and if any of you think it's easy, go poop your pants, because that's not, it's not at all, and, yeah, I, th I think I'll drop that for now. But um, I made remade my Would You Rather account, the adult section, of course, because I'm a big boy now. That's a ravine, I think. That's what I'm after. Um, but yeah, I'll be able to load up some adult questions, because we're all just adults here, aren't we? We're not all between 13 and 17. We're all 25 plus, because um, that's my demographic, of course. Complete sarcasm. But anyway, um, later on, I might load up some Would You Rather questions. I'm sorry if I just out sarcasm the shit out of your brain and you have no idea what I'm saying but um 
I, know, I tend to do that a lot, and I apologise if you have no idea what the fuck I'm saying. But anyway, we'll load up some of those questions later on in the episode, providing I run out of things to blabber on about. But um, I imagine I don't want to be doing this uh, minecart gathering for too long. This is more kind of like a live stream thing, although I can't live stream. So, yeah, I've said in the past, these episodes are going to be kind of like a crossbreed between a dog and a cat, not really, between a um, a live stream and an actual episode, so it's kind of, there we go, that took way too long, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a mongrel breed between those two things, a bit of a hybrid, there we go, that sounds a bit more fancy, a hybrid between an episode and a live stream, and that's how I want to set up these one hour specials, but I'm not really not sure how long I can do these for, because they absolutely kill me, and I don't know what I... Is gold even useful in this game? I don't even know. I guess we'll keep it anyway. Um, this is just turning into a resource gathering exp expansion. That's really not the word. Expedition. Bam. Fucking vocabulary master right there. Um, but a friend um, who unfortunately watches my videos commented on my lack of English skills. Through fuck you, candle in your butthole. Um, don't actually fuck candles. But anyway... He commented on my lack of English skills throughout these videos, and I'm going to blame that on the fact that I'm talking for an hour straight to a, to a imaginary audience that I'll never meet, and the fact is I have to keep a conversation going for that whole time. I know I can do pause records and all that good stuff, but essentially I'm recording one hour straight voice with nothing to work on except my stupid brain, and it's waviness, um, we've got a stack already of this shite, looks like we're getting more iron, more minecarts worth from the actual iron deposits than I am finding from the minecarts, but bloody hell, um, let me know if you guys would like to take you caving more often, it sounds like, that sounds a little bit, hmm, anyway, cave exploring sounds a little, little fucked up, but, um, anyway, that's only for the immature, um, we're all mature here, of course, so, Probably made no sense. But anyway, what I might do actually, please let me know if you'd like to see caving, because I'm happy to do it. I really enjoy caving and all that stuff. But um, I'm just nervous that some of you guys really aren't in it for the caving. I don't know, believe it or not. Not just using me for the caving episodes, you selfish poo heads. But um, God, it's so pretty. Just stuff like this. I don't know. Let me know. And we'll get it done in the future. If not, I'll cut it out. And I don't know. But anyway, um, today, hopefully, after I finish recording this episode, I want to get stuck into some mini Rage Quit Holidays. Mini Hostile Rage Quit Holidays, a custom map by Vex, the one and only mastermind who wants me to die in a fire, apparently. So, that's going to get me yelling. So, please only watch those um, if you're open to the idea of excef excessive swearing and or yelling. Um, because, as the name suggests, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fucking angry at that custom map, so if you are one of those people who are a bit sensitive to swearing, um, hmm, fuck, I don't know what to say, uh, my videos probably aren't for you, to be honest, I get a few comments occasionally saying, why do you swear so much and stuff, I just, I don't know, I just don't know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not able to change myself that much on video, it's something that's just a part of me, I suppose, the ugly... It's like the ugly mole in the back of your asshole that you just can't get rid of. It's just with me for life. And goddamn, I really wish people that I knew didn't watch these videos. Because I'm just... Uh, within every conversation, without it, without fail, they insist on quoting me. So that's really bad. Um, but yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, I'm really not too happy about the lack of minecart tracks. Even though I'm not even looking in mine shafts. But I guess we'll just manually make these mofos. I'm just really interested about this this lava area. It's just so pretty. And please don't fire. Don't fire in a die. Don't die in a fire. Vex has made me nervous. Even though I've never had any form of interaction with the guy. He makes me shit my pants. But anyway, I might load up a would you rather question. Otherwise, I'm just going to burn out and just fall asleep. Um, whoa. We found a mine shaft. Um... But yeah, I might go do that before I get distracted. That spider, fuck you. 
Fucking owned. Um, that was that was doubly as bad. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna load off a question. Probably plonk myself in here. Make sure I'm nice and safe. And I'll be back once I've got a question. All right, this is a little more unethical um, than I anticipated, but um, we've got two choices here as we get cluster fucked with cave spiders. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure if I want to answer these adult questions. They're kind of just a little bit too fucked up. But um, today, I guess, we'll make an exception here. But um, today, we've got the option of uh, kicking your grandmother in the ovaries, which is a little bit fucked up, um, I must admit. Um, the first time I ever kicked my grandmother, I'm totally fucking kidding. Um, yeah, that's a strange question. Um, we have the option to do that. Oh, fuck you in the butt. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy shit, there's so much noise. Oh, God. I'm getting a phone call. Fuck my life. Alright, that should have gone. Alright, there it goes. That was annoying as fuck. Um, just got owned for spiders and steam calls. God damn. Don't know. Oh. Don't normal people realize that normal people record videos? I don't know. But anyway, we've got that choice to kick our grandmother in the ovaries, which I'm um, personally not too fond of, but um, the next alternative is to lick our grandfather's belly button, and I'm down for that. My granddad has a really good diet, and I imagine his belly bu belly bum fluff, his belly belly juice is going to be tasty as shit. So I'm going to be choosing that. Um, it's just been something I've wanted to do for a long time. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Generally, um, whenever I'm smelling my my grandfather's um, belly button, it's it has a really nice odor, and I've always wanted to try it. Um, Although it's kind of awkward asking your granddad to, you know, lick his lick out his belly button. But um next time I see him I probably actually I might actually gather the, the balls and actually ask him because yeah, that's definitely the option I'm gonna pick. Um kind of a guilty pleasure I know. But um there's just something about his belly button wax that is just so appealing. I could eat it bre breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um fuck these cave spiders. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys would have chosen. What the f aimbot? How the fuck did he just, like, bite me through the fence? You bastard fuck. Um, let's just block this off. This has turned into a caving episode. Not for long, I swear. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to see caving episodes yet again. Oh, that's like the third time I've asked that. Really need answers to questions, though, isn't it? Those? What? Um, someone asked me why the hell I asked so many questions, and I simply responded, if I didn't ask questions, I wouldn't get any answers, so that's why, if you f oh, that's a double spawner, let's, let's just go full-blown retard at the thought of a double spawner, um, but yeah, as I said before, I probably won't do anything with this thing, because unless it's like a quintuplet spawner, um, it's really not going to be beneficial, um, at all, um, unless I want to farm, like, <coughs> fuck you. Farm like, what's it called? String, not string. Is it string? Spider eyes, maybe. But I've got a double spider spawner that I still can't wrap my head around. Um, over near my slime farm, so if I do need any spider related produce, I guess you could call it, um, that's where I'm going to be going. And, um, God, I just can't stop thinking about um, belly button wax. But anyway, um, might load up another question because that, that was fun. I like admitting that kind of stuff, um, I seriously hope, I hope to God that nobody took that seriously, I don't actually have a fetish for my granddad's belly wax, and it's shame on you if you thought otherwise, god damn, hmm, it's kind of bad that I have to clarify that, but I'm sure some people would have literally thought that I just enjoy munching on my, my granddaddy is old belly juice, but anyway, I'm going to load up the next question here, um, what am I to actually, fuck this, fuck, fuck your couch, why you stream that shit and everything, but um, I think I might call a quits the caving for now, might actually get started on the project, it looks like, yeah, we're not going to get too much done if we're caving all episodes, so what I'm going to do, break this episode up a little bit, I'll meet you guys over at the base again, and have another question ready to fire out and if I can find my fucking way out of here I could probably do that but yeah I will meet you guys over at the base and we'll get on to the second phase of this episode fucking yeah and all that good stuff so yeah I'll meet you guys over at the base why am I removing iron when I have no inventory space
But yeah, I'll meet you guys over there for like the fifth time, and yeah, fucking blam. Okay, I'll light a little bit. Um, this just looks too tempting to parkour around the place with. Oh god. I just really find some, want to find some diamonds. I don't know. That's something I legitimately have a fetish for. Those blue, circly goodness. But if we can't find any diamonds within like 30 seconds here, I guess we'll have to go over to the base and be all boring. But um, hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Oh, this lava lake's absolutely massive. I rarely come across shit this big. Um. Oh wow, that's a little bit sexual, but um, yeah. Um, in response to my Brenny Beast Talks Dirty video, I had a lot of people asking me to do myself. Um, God damn, that's just so dirty. Um, but yeah, do myself, make my sound sound like an idiot, and make it sound like an absolute perv or something. But if you really think about it, it's really not hard. Um, all you have to do is just listen to a video, and it's pretty much just like a a montage of bad things that I'm saying the whole time, so if I was to do that, it'd kind of be a waste of time, because I say enough bad shit on my own, so I don't, really don't have to go through the effort of doing that, and um, I've been getting a lot of requests, god damn, I'm such a liar, um, we'll go to the base soon, but I just wanted to talk about this briefly, um, getting a lot of requests for different people to do in the next to dirty talking video, um, the most popular requests so far I'm pretty sh what was it? It was like, oh, I will check that in a moment. That may be a dungeon, although it's probably just cobblestone being generated. Um, the Syndicate Project was a highly requested one. Um, I did also have the Yogs cast requested, although, I don't know. I don't, that'd be a bit hard. But anyway, um, let me know you guys who you guys would like me to make sound like a dirty perv in the next episode of Talking Dirty. Um, oh, fuck it. We'll just officially announce it as a series. Um, although I won't be making many of those videos. They just take so much time, if you can imagine. Um, if you can only imagine what it'd be like. Um, bit awkward if you don't know that song. But um, what was I saying? Um, I, I, got, I got so burnt out on Brenny Beast videos that it almost killed me. Um, not that I... Like, I Big fan of Brenny, um, fanboy moment number three. Um, but yeah, after you've listened to their, their their voice for like a good solid six hours, it's kind of like a good indicator that you've pretty much fucked your head over. And um, I went to watch one of his videos and my ears just started ringing. But um, I'm all good now. I'm all... What's the word? I don't know. I just overkilled Brenny Beast videos for a while there. But now we're all good. And, yeah. Oh, double chest! Holy shit! All the way. Alright, okay. I guess we found our diamonds for today, so, yeah, fucking give it up for chest number two. Um, zombie, you're a fag. Um, please die. Um, but I guess we can get our full stack of rails here, and then we'll be on our way to the base. But, yeah. Request who you'd like to see sounding dirty. And, as I've said before, please be someone that I can use... <laughs> Wow, that sounds really strange. Um, please pick someone who has a tendency to go off on strange tangents um, like myself and will be easy to manipulate them to sound like they love doodles or something like that. Oh, triple chest. This is just... Oh my god, a quad chest! Holy shit! I, I swear to god, I get so lucky when you guys are with me. So this is why I like caving with you guys because you give me shit. Without even realizing it. Look at that, four chests. Oh, I didn't even pick the diamonds. What the fuck's wrong with me? Look at that. Quad chest. Triple diamonds. Crazy shit. Oh, man. Can we go... F oh, my... That's... That's a little strange, I'm not gonna lie. But, um... God damn, I could spend all day down on this mine shaft, but I guess we get it better get underway on today's episode. Um, get the actual goal done. Probably would help. Um... So yeah, I'll meet you guys, I'll, I'm not going to lie this time, I'll actually meet you guys over at the base, and um, please let me know if you'd like to see more caving in the future, because um, you guys give me good luck, so please say yes. But anyway, I will actually meet you guys over at thy base, and I'm going to stop crackman on, stop lying, lying to you guys, and yeah, I'll be back momentarily. Alright, um, hmm. That was smooth, well done. Um, claps to the retard. But we're just floating up here. 
And I'm not sure where the hell I'm going to poke up. I'm pretty sure my base would be over this way. Kind of fairly good with directions in this world for some reason. But hopefully it's over this way. Otherwise, I'll kind of contradict what I've just said. Um, but get out into perils. Save a bit of time. Um, oh, there was a little bit of a white light there. I did say I was going to be at the base when I popped out of editing. I don't know. But this music is so loud. Um barely hear myself talk right now but um i've come across some interesting areas around the place that i'd like to do some builds in and um i've discussed building in the mountainous areas in the past and i'm really keen on doing that so that's something a future project maybe even a mega build in the future really want to get stuck into another mega build i really enjoy those things it's just i'm really not happy with how bad my creativity is um at times and when you're building a mega build, I'm kind of just like branding that as a mega build. But anyway, um, when you're building something that's absolutely massive, you kind of don't want to make it look shit. I mean, I could use a shit ton of resources and make something look absolutely horrible. And that's something I really want to avoid doing. And I'm happy to make a, a massive ass structure. It's just I really want to think of stuff that's actually good looking and stuff um i'm just yeah minecraft superficial and all that shit but um yeah i really want to make sure that whenever i'm spending a lot of time on something like for example this 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 bridge alone took many hours to complete um just case molding um as well as this thing this also took a long time um even just clearing out this area and filling it with water took a long time um but yeah just stuff like that um if I'm going to spend a lot of time on it, I really want it to look nice and not just look like a big giant piece of fucking shit in the sky. Cough, stupid mob spawner. Um, but at least that thing has a bit of practicality about it. So yeah, it's either got to serve two purposes, purposes, um, preferably both, but one being that it's, it's beneficial. It actually helps out the world. Practical, that's the word. It kind of just threw it out, forgot it, and then we remembered it. Um, it's either got to help me out in the world or like this wheat farm or it's got to look look nice but i'm um, getting some weird frame rates and i have not been frigged to replant all these seeds ever since the first harvest that was ridiculous um i might replant the seeds before i upload the world to media media fire that's the file showing but anyway if any of you guys are interested in downloading this world for yourself um at the end of this episode i will maybe there may or may not be wheat growing when you get here but um if you want to download it i will put a link <coughs> to the download in the video description um if it's not there it'll be there as soon as i can upload it and if not it might be on my channel so either way um if you want to download it just check the description box of this video and it should be there if you want to download it for yourself but i guess we better get on to making these minecart tracks and actually making some progress towards this actual minecart uh, track. So we've got a crap ton of coal and a little bit of iron to work with. So what we might do is fire up the furnace room. Oh my God, I did not mean to do that. My pride and joy, my little baby. And what I did get requests um, for doing a world tour. Um, not like copying Docam, but like an actual tour of my world. Um, showing all the new guys where everything is and all that stuff. And... I might do that today um, if we get time. Um, even though this is a one hour plus episode, might even have to call this a movie. Let me know if you want me to call these Minecraft movies. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to feel like I'm copying anyone if I do that. It's just it's the length of the movie. It makes sense. It's it's witty and such. So I I don't know. Let me know if you think these special episodes should have a special name, and that would be fantastic. But anyway. Um, what was I saying before? I just totally tangentialized. God, I love that word. Um, for no real reason. But, um, hmm. Yeah, if you guys like to like me to call these movies, let me know. I think I just, yeah. I'm crapping on at this point. But depending on how long this episode is, I might, may or may not get a tour in. Show you guys around. Um, what I'm, I actually might actually do that right now i'll check how long the video is at this point and um while this stuff is all cooking we i guess we can go on a brief little tour show you guys who are new to the channel what my world is 
up to, you know, and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll be back once I've checked how long this video is. Alright, that surprised me. This video is 40 minutes long already, and that does not feel like at all. But um, what I will do, since there is a lot of new people, I'll do a brief little tour of my little world I've got going on here. I imagine some people, I don't know, I have some people that watch it from episode 1 through to whatever I'm up to now, which fucking, that, I, I have to applaud you guys, I appreciate it, um, but for those who are a little less patient, I guess, uh, and you can't be bothered work, working your way through the episodes, um, I'll give you a brief little tour, um, I won't go too extensively into it, um, if you really want to see everything take place, you will have to watch the episodes, but whatever, if not, um, we'll start off with just whatever's around me, um, over here is my arena, um, but yeah, that may, well, that's like even further zoom in. But um, that may or may not be used. Um, in 1.3, I have heard that you're going to be able to invite people to your single player. So that might be a subscriber special related video. Um, that arena may or may not be used. Who knows? Um, depending on the updates, we'll determine whether or not it gets used. It's just basically a PvP arena. Built that in about episode, at about episode 40-ish, give or take five episodes. I really can't keep track. But um, what we're standing right next to is my tree farm, the Chris Volga tree farm. Um, back in the day when I was all fragile and shit and had no thought process of my own, someone suggested that I fill this thing in glass and I named the tree farm after him. So that's why it is called the Chris Volga tree farm. That is my crazy little tree farm. I added an extension at the back here. Um, we've got the oaks down the bottom and the birch up the top um, with a dark wood extension out the back. And I was going to originally make a jungle version of the of the tree farm, but I'm in a jungle, so I really don't need to farm that kind of wood. But um, here we've got a... This used to be a chicken farm, believe it or not. Um, but anyway, we've since moved the chicken farm down below here to this monstrosity. This is the cooking machine. Um, if you want to check out the chicken cooker episode I did, I'll be, give you a better demonstration on how that works. But um, down here, we'll speed up time a little bit. Oh god. So bad with ender pearls. But um, down here is just my egg farm, just at the end of this bad boy. We've got a bunch of chickens molesting each other, pooping out eggs all day. It's kind of a bit unethical, but uh, gets me a shit ton of eggs, so that's all good. I guess we can throw them casually for the next 45 minutes, depending on how long we actually spend on this episode. But um, apart from that, we better jump on to my jungle builds, because they're pretty much the, the heart and soul. Um, when I originally started this Let's Play, um, apart from the fact of being extremely nervous and retarded uh, at recording, I had intended on making a jungle build, and that gave birth to all this goodness. Um, that was my first mega build, this thing you're looking at right now. Pure... Um, this was my first little house, as a lot of you are aware of, um, brings back so many tears when I think about this thing, my so-called temporary, temporary enchanting room, and my first ever mega build, but I guess we better move along, um, as quick as we can, because I really want to get this project actually done, but, um, this is my first mega build I did, I actually built this in creative mode first, because I was a bit unsure on how it would look um it was very it was slightly different in the creative mode and i call this roof the fat legged fat child thigh roof um i don't know if it just looks like fat kids thighs like their legs they're really thin at the top and then they just go Pfft. i don't know what that sound effect was but yeah that's my roof but anyway um oh holy shit the crafting bench house don't get me started on that thing um Fuck you, skeleton. What the? Why did he just invis? But I guess we better move along just quickly. Um, I built a house out of crafting benches. Nothing that special. Um, but yeah, I've just been gradually building this canopy. Um, building this canopy. Building around these canopies. Making a little, I don't know, George of the Jungle kind of shit. Um, a wheat farm that will never get used. And just for aesthetics... Just slowly expanding this thing to a point where it looks pretty and shit. And hopefully, over the course of this Let's Play, it gets larger and larger. And eventually, I occupy this whole jungle with awesomeness and good times. But um, that's about as much as I've done 
in this little area. Um, if you guys watched my 500 subscriber special, you would have seen a fancy little trick shot over yonder. Um, but jump over there now. Please don't overshoot it. But um, I did, in fact, do a YY 360 and shoot a certificate. But um, yeah, all that aside, we better keep moving along. Um, I've got, I've currently packed up my village as of yet, as of now, I must say. So that's where a village used to be, um, and currently they're all just kind of just chilling in that little hole, and I'm not sure if any of them are still alive. I can see, yeah, it's a bit of an orgy, but um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, what we might do is actually lure a zombie in there, that might be funny. Oh god. <laughs> I love those dudes. Anyway, move on to our slime farm. Um, that's probably... I've also got a mob trap up there, but you've all seen that. I started the episode there, for God's sake. Um, brown sheep, have you got any wool? Um, what the hell, I've never seen that thing before. But anyway, um, after we show the slime farm, I will actually probably kill... No, I won't kill myself. That's just a bit... That's a bit, a bit sad. Um, I'll have to note down my coordinates of my nether, nether base, and we'll backtrack from there. Um... Because obviously we're going to have to set up another portal um, in the nether and work our way back to our original portal so that way we can set up the minecart system and not be a total spastic like I was when I built my end area. Um, I probably won't show you guys the end. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have... Uh, the majority of you guys have actually been around from the start, which is amazing. I honestly didn't think my videos had any sort of retention about them. But um, speaking of retention, um, I don't know even if that's the right word to use um, as we ponder over the slime farm. Um, I've noticed in these one-hour specials, um, by the end of the video, only about 11% of people are watching. So I was discussing the the possible... No, I was... Con I voiced my my apprehensiveness about making these long episodes just because they don't get watched um i could and i don't know i'm tempted to not do these longer episodes just because just because of that simple fact that if only 11 percent of people are watching the episode up until the end that's i don't know it's just a little bit of a that's one of those demotivating things that i was kind of unsure about, um, yeah, this is my incomplete Puaz spider farm, by the way, um, but anyway, I guess we better get onto the project before I start talking about this topic, um, no, screw it, I'll meet you guys over at the base, um, I don't want to waste your time too much, alright, so I've just popped on some more iron on the backburn while we go to the nether and check our coordinates, but um, what the previous version of myself 30 seconds ago was trying to say was that um, the fact that only a small majority of the people, a small majority, that doesn't make sense, a minority of the people, a very small minority of the people, um, I only watch the videos until the very end. And um, I had people telling me that it's not really worth making longer videos just because of that, but I kind of ignored it for the most part. But it's kind of crept up on me and it's kind of really put me off making these one hour episodes um, I know some people some of you guys actually really like the longer videos but it just doesn't reflect it when I look at the retention rates but um, I don't know maybe that's just me I don't not sure if it's the same for everyone but um, why the hell would I just go over here I almost went over to the end for God's sake but um, I guess I don't know what I'm trying to say is that it's just it's kind of hard to make these videos when you know only 10% of people are only going to watch to the end, when I could be spending my time on, uh, like, another episode, for example, or something else um, that's a lot more constructive, and I almost feel like I'm wasting my time making these longer episodes, which is kind of crap, um, but I do, I did want to at least make sure this episode 50 was one hour special, um, just for those guys who really appreciate it, um, and honestly, I really don't benefit in any way, shape, or form from making these longer videos. But, um, I don't know. I just don't know if I'll be able to do them in the future. Maybe for subscriber specials. Maybe. Um, I just really don't know if I want to do them every 10 episodes like I've been doing. 
just yeah it's just it's just one of those things that I really need to revise over why I'm doing it because it's really not helping me or the channel in any way but um just let me know what you guys think of that um the t the twelve percent of people you are probably watching at this point um I know a lot of you who probably will answer that question will be a bit disappointed simply because the guys who actually take the time to watch these videos um for the majority but um for that reason and that reason alone, the word of the day for today can be genie. Um, don't know why. Don't ask me why. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. Um, instead of making, say, a hour episode every 10 episodes, I could kind of improve my upload rate. Um, I haven't uploaded, as this goes up, I haven't uploaded in like four or five days. Um, just because it's just a daunting task knowing that you have to make a very long episode and it kind of just kills I don't know there's just something about it that's just a bit of a downer but I guess we'll better note our coordinates um, on my fantastic sticky notes for Windows 7 um, probably the best thing in the world so 107x and 270 Z alright so that's what we got to work with um, what I want to go ahead and do now is go over to my original spawn which a lot of you guys would have seen before if you downloaded my map in the past um, on like a server or something and you didn't actually spawn where I spawned and I'm sorry this has to go down I was just watching some footage back and it was a little bit loud anyway so I'm kind of happy to turn that down that's just a pain in the butthole um, that was a strange accent but anyway I'm just trying to think of the best way to get to my original spawn um, and I guess the, the only way I can really do it is to go on a bit of a hike. Um, but, hmm. Oh, screw it. I sense a time lapse very soon. But what I will do before I get stuck into that is get some minecart tracks burning away. Um, I'll probably build it from my original nether. Um, my original nether. From this base nether here. Um, so, I'll just brief you on the plan. Um, we're going to walk over to the original spawn, create another portal there. Um... Hmm. And then probably travel back through the nether towards my original portal um, over here. And then from here, I will then backtrack back to the original one. I know I could go from the 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 one at spawn to this one in that order, but I just I don't think I'll be able to have enough resources. So it's going to be a lot easier if I just go from this one to that one. If that makes sense. I'm probably just confusing every single person in, in the world watching this. But anyway, that's the plan. I'm going to go make my way towards 0-0. Zero, zero. And I, I've i loaded up many backups in the past, so I've had to deal with flying over from spawn to here in the past. So I kind of know the spawn area, so when I find it, um, I will know. And what I will do, actually, before I go over there, I'll bring some basic minecarts over because the worst thing I could do is build that thing and then not put any minecarts in the track in the tracks not put a chest with minecarts in it because then you just have to walk the kind of things the whole thing would be redundant if I didn't do that and to any of you guys <coughs> voice just dying in the arse haven't seen my goody chest there it is in all its glory 15 cocoa beans so much mossy stone all gonna be poo as in the next update but anyway might go ahead and make a I know, a baker's dozen of minecarts. I'm pretty sure that means ten, I think. I don't know. Some strange terminology. Not good with it. But I guess that'll do us. We'll just make a chest. And then I'll meet you guys over at my original spawn. A lot of you guys wouldn't have seen it. Um, unless you've been watching from the very beginning. But um, you probably won't recognize it. Because I'll probably just... I don't know. But um, I'll get all the resources I need together. Get some obsidian happening. And I'll meet you guys over there when I'm ready to record. And yeah, I'll see you there. Alrighty, we're going to do a bit of a time lapse over towards the spawn. Um, for you guys who haven't seen a time lapse of mine before, I will put in a bar up the top. Bam, like that. And as the time lapse progresses, it'll show the progress, obviously. And um, if, you just, if you're not into time lapses, that isn't your thing. Just skip to the end um, of that little bar. And we should be right to go from there. But anyway, guys, music in the background is by Ellie. You can see, please check him out. He's... And he got like 60 subscribers. And he's got more talent than me, that's for sure. So please check him out. But anyway, we better get this time lapse underway. And I'll meet you guys when it's done.
that is weird as shit. Um, okay. Floating ice. Whatever notch. Alright, back to the time lapse, I suppose. Pew pew. Okay, this very block I'm standing on is the first block that I ever spawned in Minecraft in this world. So, what we're going to have to do is just make a special little pole to resemble that. Um, I did go to X0Z0 and that wasn't my spawn. I went and watched episode 1 and that's exactly where I spawned. Um, there was some saplings and stuff on the ground just before, although it looks like they've despawned. However, this is the very, very start where I spawned. And I just see this jungle right now. Um, what happened in episode one? Uh, it took me three episodes to find a jungle. And um, looking at that just now, um, that would have saved a lot of time. But anyway, that's why we're so far away. Because it took me three episodes to find an actual jungle. Even though I skipped over a lot of the things. And it's pretty weird to think that the Let's Play would be so different had I just turned this one direction differently. But I guess I'll have a little peek over here, just out of curiosity, and then we'll get stuck into making the nether portal. And this doesn't look like a too bad of an area, although what's done is done. And it's time to make this nether portal, make this a little bit easier for you guys. And um, I'm not going to make this all glamorous and stuff, I just want to get a basic tunnel underway. I've got two pickaxes with me, so that should be enough to get through a fair bit of stuff. Um, if it comes down to it, I will use my fortune picks, I really don't care if they decay or whatever because I have a level shitting system that is hard to ignore so well that, I don't know if that describes how I wanted it anyway um, I think I just called my enderman farm a toilet but yeah, we'll, we'll got, what we're gonna do hopefully a lot of you guys spawn in the same area as me but if not just look out for this pole and it will be exactly like this um, I'll probably light the area up a little bit because what you're seeing right now if you download the map is exactly what you're gonna get obviously if you download it so yeah just look for this stuff and you'll find it um, but yeah this little system is basically only going to be useful for me in very rare occasions but the main thing is um, for people who download my world to use it so this may be right what I'm doing right now the very first time I've ever made another portal correctly on camera holy fuck it only took 50 episodes but we got there I think a congratulations is in order, but um, I've saved my um, other nether bases coordinates on a sticky pad, um, as I said before, and we should be able to backtrack our way back from there. Um, just have to put these coordinates. What the fuck? No, no way. Actually, no way. That's. Wait a minute. Let me think this through. Wait, that's a good thing, isn't it? That's a good thing. That means I don't have to build a track. All right, so that just sped up the process like a billion times. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just fill that with minecarts. Um, well, okay, um, I'm actually quite happy about that, despite the brief amount of rage we had just now. But um, basically what's just happened is whenever you jump into that portal, you're going to spawn here and spawn here instead. So that's going to save me building a whole tunnel to this area. So I'm actually really happy. Just disregard that brief amount of yelling before. But, um, yeah, when you download the world, this is where you'll spawn. You got a pleasant little joyride over here. Um, there might be pigmen on it, so I apologize. I haven't covered it in half slabs, and I really can't be bothered. I just take him out if they do spawn on it. But anyway, that looks like it worked out fairly well. 
and we might have some extra time and that leaves to do something else for the end of the episode. So I, I really did think that that was going to take at least two hours on its own to make, so I'm kind of happy. <laughs> so I just saved two hours, so hopefully whenever you download this map, if you do, um, hypothetically if you download this map, you won't have any issues. Um, you should just spawn directly there. And then once you come over here, you should be over. Ready to go into my another portal and bam, you're in my freaking world. So that's easy as shit. Um, I'm really happy about that. I can't say that enough. But um, for anyone who hasn't seen my another world farm, it's extremely inefficient, but it goes around in circles, makes me happy on the inside. So that's that. And it doesn't really net that many nether water, although I haven't even started a brewing station in any sort. Maybe that's something I could do in a future episode, however. Um, for now, I just have no use for splash potions, apart from the skeleton farm, but again, that thing has become a little bit redundant, because I don't need arrows, bows, or any form of skeleton lutations, and if I wanted to get XP, I'd just go to the end. But um, speaking of the end, we might actually, probably should have gone through that other nether portal and actually done some enchanting. I feel like an idiot right now. But um, I guess I better go do the word of the day sign for the last episode's winner. Um, it's been, as I said, about four or five days since the last episode. So it's been a long time coming. And that's Nickelback again. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, yeah, Nickelback for life. Anyway, what I might do is pop over to my mega build little area. And yeah, we'll go do the sign and then we'll see what we can do from there. Alrighty, so it looks like I spent a lot of time preparing to do something that I didn't actually need to do. But I guess it all worked out in the end, and this music. I swear, C418 or whoever who composed these just knows when to play these different types of tracks. Just goes with my emotions and shit. Anyway, that's a bit fucking strange, but anyway. I just said, but anyway, about four times just now. But we better go ahead and do this sign for the winner of episode 49. Um... If you guys need any explanation on how the word of the day works, um, post a comment. I have explained it many a times. I might have to recap it in the future. But basically, the word of the day, if you're the first person and the only person to post that one word, you will receive a sign in my world. And for example, we better go over. Fuck it. We'll go through a word of the day shrine. As of these 50 episodes, um, it's a milestone. Episode 50. I honestly didn't think, like, when I hit that record button for the first episode, I honestly didn't think I would actually post it to YouTube at all, so, it's kind of weird to think that there's, like, 20 plus hours of me talking to myself on the internet, so, collapse for the strange habits, but, um, anyway, I better go through from episode 1 through to episode 49, and episode 50 will be updated on episode 51. But I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a quick little overview of the guys. Ninja Monkey and Jurgen were fierce contenders, contenders at the very start, as you can see. And a lot of these people I actually have added on Steam, so special little shout out. Uh, Venge is a faggot. Um, and yeah, that house lasted us, lasted us 14 episodes, which wasn't too bad. A little humble house. That thing's... I'm so happy with that thing. That little wheat farm's been growing since the very beginning. Really didn't give me anything, but um, I guess we better ponder over to the episode 15 and beyond. Where does it start? Oh, God, where is episode 15? Oh, no. Holy crap, I'm going to have to fix that. Um, Wait, I feel like a dick. I'm going to go check who won episode 15. That was surprisingly more difficult than it needed to be. But um, I went and checked who won episode 15, it was the Scout 101. Um, special shout out to you, because I'm retarded. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. For what reason, I don't know. Um, I think a creeper blew it up or something. I just forgot to ever replace it, unless I put it somewhere else and I've forgotten, and you have two signs. But anyway, you can have a special sign up the he up here. If you're still, what, you're still keeping up with the series, let me know, Mr. Scout. The Scout 101. I think, yeah. He watches the series, he knows it's there. But yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, we better go ahead and give the rest of the guys their brief bit of credit. Um, apparently, Bax's Projects wanted me to change that name, but what I'm, I'm not going to change names. I'm just going to do it on the original account that it was posted on. 
Um, not because I want to be a fag and, and I'm lazy to replace it. It's just the fact that that account, well, for two reasons, it's just for the, I don't know, the undescribable thing. And also, if some people could be talking shit, I know, I, I do trust you guys. It's just in the event that I change someone's sign accidentally um, and the original person actually didn't post that comment, I'd look like a bit of a dick. So for that reason, I'm just going to keep these signs in the original state on the original account that posted. Um, but my apologies, my apologies, my apologies if that pisses you off in any way, but yeah, it's just, that's just how I'm going to do it. But um, these are the, le the more recent episodes and it's nice to see a bunch of different people. Well, there's anything Holy shit, he like ninjaed three episodes out of four and then got another one over here, so he's very good at this word of the day, and I won't be surprised if he claimed episode 49, but I guess I'll have to check, see who won episode 49, I'll be back and I've done that. Alrighty, so I went and checked episode 49's comments, and it was actually not claimed by Zenithan, so well done to whoever claimed it, and the person who did claim it was Dengast69, he's one of the guys who's been watching this... Oh god, did I just spell that wrong? Dengast, yeah, 69, fucking giggles. He's one of the guys who's been watching these videos for a very long time, and um, it's happy. Uh, it's happy to see. Okay, we'll just roll with that. It's nice to see that um, the regulars are the ones who are claiming the signs now, not the people skipping ahead. But you should be proud of me. I put signs on the freaking logs now, so I don't have to make them on the camera. You know, I did just before. But anyway, um, episode 50 was released earlier on in the episode if you missed it um it might be very hard to grab it but yeah if you're the first person to post it go for it and this sign will be yours it's a very special sign indeed not that it's placed anywhere of any significance but anyone who claims a one hour special sign extra credit goes to you guys because i imagine watching an hour of minecraft is like like i said before it's like a movie so if you're the first person to claim that you're very very good at this but anyway, guys, um, I think I might wrap the episode up um, here. I'm not quite sure if I've met the one-hour threshold, but I'm pretty sure I have. If not, I don't know, I might compensate next episode. But anyway, guys, that was episode 50 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And thank you guys so much for watching the new and old. Um, again, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. And yeah, I re it's really nice to see the, the ongoing support from you guys. And yeah, I don't know, it's just very hard to express how thankful I am without sounding like a big kiss ass. But anyway, guys, that was episode 50. It's been like a week. I'll, I'll change the date every time I said it. It's been a week since I've posted an, an actual LP episode. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Um, I'll get stuck in a le to level to episode 51 as soon as I can. And um, yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll do some enchantments in a second, but fuck it. I'll say goodbye for now, and I'll catch us later. I'm a little bit sad. This is the last time I can ever do an enchantment the same level as the number of which episode I'm up to, if that makes sense. But we're going to do a level 50 pickaxe just now as we end this video. Oh my god, that sucks.